Well, I'm back on the gravel road. Let's see how bad it is this time. It just it's rained, so I hope it's not too bad. But here we go. Last time I was here, this road was filled with gravel. Now it's not that bad. It's great. Anyway, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carl with a K, and today we are back on the Vulcan S. I want to talk more about this bike. I'm going to talk a lot about the things I like about this bike and the things I don't like about this bike. Now, some of the things I like you might not like. I respect that. Oh, let's just turn into here. Man, this is great. I got the road all to myself. Let's start with the first thing I don't like about this bike. And it has to be the mirrors. Um, in my opinion, the mirrors are a little bit too big. They're great mirrors, don't get me wrong. But I would change them out. Um, I would either get a bar end mirror or probably a smaller mirror. When I first saw this bike, uh, I didn't like the mirrors right away. I knew that it didn't fit the bike, the whole aesthetics of the bike, the whole looks of it. Um, but yeah, I will probably change these out for something smaller. Man, I love this road. Look at this, man. Got it all to myself. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thought so. Now, another thing I don't like about this bike has to be the fairing or the windshield now if you guys have, are looking into this bike and have done your research the Vulcan S the only difference with the regular Vulcan S and the cafe Vulcan S <laughs> I think is the windshield um, in terms of city riding if you're going around the city uh, you're not really going through the highway it's great man like it looks good on the bike and it matches the headlights however if you're gonna ride through the highway and you've got debris flying all over you uh, for example gravel it's gonna hit you um, it's pretty small I don't know if it's I don't know if it's doing anything unless I tuck but other than that I guess like I said if you're do, doing city riding it's not that bad I've taken this bike on a four hour ride mainly highway it gets really tiring just because the wind is pushing up on you. Um, you can switch these out for a bigger windshield. However, I think I'm just going to keep them. I don't mind battling the wind most of the time. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you. Now, another thing I don't like about this bike. Um, it's pretty common with most bikes. Um, it has to be the stock exhaust. <laughs> a lot I've, I've seen a lot of uh, threads out there about this bike that this the exhaust sounds like a uh, um, a lawnmower <laughs> which I kind of agree it does however when you're past 4,000 5,000 rpm it's a little bit better it sounds like a an angry lawnmower yeah so much better when it's past 4,000-5,000 rpm. Uh, let me just pull over here and uh, I'll let you guys have a better listen at this stock exhaust I guess. Oh man come on again? Oh dude. Oh come on you guys. What the heck. Condoms everywhere in this little area. Jeez. Anyway. Alright guys. Here's how it sounds. Stock. That's what it sounds like under 3000 RPM. I don't like it. Um, I don't know if anybody does. But like I said. Past 4000, 5000 RPM is not too bad. If you guys, um, I'm looking for an exhaust that's a little bit deeper toned, 
um, and it's not so loud so I'm gonna hunt for that if you guys have a recommendation on what kind of aftermarket exhaust I should get send me a link in the comment section I'll take a look at it now while I'm here I'll talk about the one last thing I guess I don't like about this bike and it has to be the headlights I am not into the heart shaped headlights um, kind of looks like a bug I, I wish it was round however I could change that out um, I probably won't in the future I'll probably just keep this for now I might change out the light bulbs maybe something brighter like an LED but yeah like I said I'm not into the heart shaped heart shaped headlights um, it does match the windscreen or the fairing um, so I might just keep it for now until I change this out um, but yeah so anyway guys I might just split this video into two two parts so the first things I talked about were the things I don't like about this bike here um, they were my personal opinions if you're against the things that I that I disliked about this bike that's totally fine I respect that uh, but um, I was a little bit nitpicky with this bike uh, there's really nothing major I just like about this bike it's a really good bike I'll talk about the things I like in my next video but for the time being if you guys like these kinds of videos, like and subscribe. I'll be posting my next one shortly. But until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.